Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to properly wear a piece of kit that is really common and popular among German reenactors, um, as was with German soldiers during the Second World War, and that is the Y-straps, otherwise known in German as the Kappa This roughly translates to belt-carrying frame. Um, and what this does is pretty much support the weight of your equipment in a different way. The other way being um, through um, tunic suspenders. For those who don't know German tunics that well, um, the early war model tunics um, featured internal suspenders, which are suspenders that are looped through the inside of the tunic and connect to the tunic hooks. Um, there are four on the typical tunic. Um, and that, for the most part, supports the weight of your equipment. Um, y straps are just another way to do that. Um, this was also really common with later war um, men, as later war tunics didn't feature um, really the internal suspender um, design that the earlier war ones um, featured, right? So I'm wearing the M40 tunic, um, and it does feature internal suspenders, and for the most part, um, it supports the weight of my equipment. I really don't wear Y straps that much. Um, for the main impressions I do for reenacting, they are mainly uh, Gebirgsjäger and Fallschirmjäger. Um, Gebirgsjäger not wearing Y straps at all, and uh, the Fallschirmjäger wearing the lightweight Y straps. So these standard issue Y straps that you see among um, the Hair and the Waffen SS, uh, I don't really wear that much because I really don't do impressions that I wear them. But these were the most common and uh, standard wire straps that you see with German soldiers during the Second World War, all right? Now, the problem that I have with reenactors wearing wire straps is that they really do not wear them correctly. Um, there is a certain way that you have to um, adjust your uh, wire straps so that they fit properly. Um, I see a lot of reenactors um, having their Y straps, um, you know, really incorrectly adjusted. I see a lot of guys, you know, with them pulled all the way down here where the D ring is like right by the uh, button of the shoulder strap. I see ones that are pulled way the hell up, um, almost the, the bracket covering the. Uh, um, shoulder straps of the tunic and uh, it being just worn incorrectly. I also see uh, Y straps that are loose and not supporting the equipment at all um, and that's not good. That's not how it, they were worn and uh, there was a, a specific way that these are to be worn, right? Now before I go into the correct way as to how they are to be worn, um, I want to tell you the reason why it's important. Not only was it the norm and the way that German soldiers wore it during the Second World War and the way that we should wear them as reenactors, they specifically had them adjusted for a reason, all right? And the reason is, not only does the Y-strap support your equipment, it also features options to carry things on the back. You see these two D-rings um, that I pointed out before? Um, see how they are resting right by my shoulder blades. Um, that is to carry um, items such as, if you're a Sturmpionier, uh, the Sturmgepack. Um, most reenactors, for some reason, like to wear the A-frame, even though that was not worn as um, often as people think. But uh, nonetheless, it is an example. Um, you also see um, rucksacks, right? Rucksacks and tornisters um, featuring a um, hook option so that they can be hooked to um, those rings on the back of the Y straps and you can use these aux auxiliary straps to uh, um, hook it onto the clips of whatever you are um, carrying to secure it almost like a backpack, right? So these Y straps are a really useful and multi-purpose um, tool, right? Um, often you see guys wearing these Elpon um, on the D-rings and even that is weight so uh, the reason why you want to have these properly adjusted is if you have them incorrectly adjusted, especially if you're carrying something, um, it can cause back issues if you have them too low, right? So you want to have your, um, your Y straps properly adjusted. Now, what is the proper adjustment um, for the Y straps? Well, 
I am wearing them right now um, in the way that they should be worn. And the way that you can tell and check yourself if your wire straps are properly adjusted is you want to look first at where the bracket placements, uh, where they rest on your body when you put them on. Um, are they really, really low or are they really, really um, high, right? You want to have them right in between the, like, like halfway um, between the shoulder strap and the Reichsadler, right? That is the perfect um, spot that they um, should rest. Now, of course, in the photos, you see guys, you know, having them maybe like right by the eagle. You see guys having them um, um, peeking right about the uh, underneath the shoulder straps. Um, I'm not saying that they um, weren't uh, perfectly adjusted all the time. Of course, there are exceptions, but again, this is the standard way that they should be worn for 95% of guys, right? Um, that goes even if you have uh, MP40 pouches. Um, you are still supposed to have the hook um, tightened all the way up so that the bracket still rests in the same place. Now, for the back, and this is the important part, right? You see where the rings rest on my back? They are right above my shoulder blades. You want to have them so that they're high enough that you can touch them. Um, you don't want to have them too high so that when you're facing the front, you don't see them, right? You don't see any D-rings um, when I'm facing towards you. Only when I turn around can you see them and they are placed at an appropriate height. You want to have them uh, here because when you hook on um, a heavy piece of equipment like the rucksack or the tourister, that will add weight and pull um, down on your back, right? Um, and that can cause back problems, right? It also makes your equipment uncomfortable to wear, um, and it also causes your equipment to rise up, which again, is not good. So what you wanna do, um, if you don't know how to adjust Y straps, there, it's a relatively simple process. It's just a buckle, just like on a belt. You just loop it through. I apologize for the uh, leaf blowers in the background, but you just wanna loop them through and uh, secure them down so that they're properly in the right place, right? As for the back, it's just a simple bracket that you um, loop through um, and uh, that's pretty much all that you do. Um, so that's that. Um, while I'm on the back, of the Y straps. If you can't tell, um, the hook of the Y straps is resting right in between the hook of my bread bag and the um, left strap of my bread bag. That's a good place to place the Y strap. That also prevents the bread bag from uh, moving around. So I recommend doing that. Um, also, you want to make sure that the hook is actually um, hooked onto the belt. Now I know that there are a lot. Of, there are some photos and of uh, guys using D rings to uh, hook the back of their Y straps onto. I'm not saying that that didn't happen. It's just that it is um, in small numbers compared to guys actually um, hooking them onto the belts. Um, if you wear uh, if you wear the Y straps connected to the D ring on the back because the belt sags, um, if you hook them onto the belt, that's because your belt is too big. I made a video that shows you how to tighten your belt so that um, you can fix that. Um, but you wanna make sure that the um, hook is hooked onto the belt, right? I know I said in the past that um, in my review of these Y straps, that uh, that is another option, especially if you're taller, but it just isn't the case. And these things can be extended pretty long, so you shouldn't have an issue with that. So that is the proper placement of the Y straps. Um, please, 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 please um, adjust them if they are incorrectly, um, incorrectly worn. Um, it's, it's one of those things that does not cost money. It does, you don't have to bend over backwards to fix this. It's literally just five minutes of your time of fidgeting and wearing your equipment correctly. Um, it's one of my pet peeves because again, it's just, it's just five minutes of your time um, to wear your equipment correctly. It improves your, impress, uh, your impression um, significantly. 
and uh, makes you look good. And it also makes you more closer, look more closer like to the uh, average German soldier during the Second World War. So anyways, guys, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you. Um, and let me know if you want to see anything else. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.